Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose, and this is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Um, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, okay, I want to talk about my plants because they're literally growing so much, and I'm so proud of them. Um, I feel bad for Paul over here because I don't, I don't give him as much of. Um, I don't celebrate him as much as Alfred, but Paul's a little more Stevens and that one's a little more mine. But Paul's getting so big. Look at all of his leaves. And then, well, you can't see Alfred here, but I'll try to turn him a little. Um, he grew two new leaves this month and I like literally just sprouted out of nowhere as I am a new plant mom. I just I didn't realize that they can just grow so fast. I, so I told him I, I wish we had like a camera on him the next time I see a leaf sprouting. I, I want to just see the process and like how fast it just sprouts because I feel like one day it was just like a little nubbin and then it was a whole, so it was that whole giant leaf. Plants are amazing, man. Amazing. I digress. That's my, uh, that's my Tuesday excitement for you. Guys, I'm so proud of us because we are just putting in the work. We are putting in the work and that is so important because like we, you know, for so long, I think we just sat around and even, you know, this past year and to whatever this whole time has been, been kind of like really evaluating what we want to do with our lives. And now that we have kind of like the space or the time where things are kind of open to do it, or we've just kind of been stuck inside for so long that we're no longer allowing like things to hold us back because today we have the eight of pentacles and the four of wands with strength and the three of wands again at the bottom also the six of cups we love that but this it, this is such an an expansive time because of everything that's going on and all the energies that are working around with us right because we just had that new moon last week we had the lion's gate portal we're in leo season like our source, like our solar plexus is just like, <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I'm just like, oh, like all the light is just like beaming out of us and we're doing the things that we're supposed to be doing. And if we're not, we're getting the answers and the messages to do it. And we're like course correcting ourselves forward to get here, right? To get to that kingdom because we can see it in, the, in our mind's eye, right? Um, which is which is amazing. We're building all this forward momentum from a place where we were very stuck. And I think a lot of it is, you know, too, a lot of us are becoming more awake. We're becoming more conscious. We're becoming more aware of our lives and the way that we're living. We are more aware of like living in satisfaction and not living out of, you know, lack or, or not allowing people to tell us that we have to live our lives a certain ways. So we know that there's, you know, as many different people as there are, there are as that many different ways that we could possibly be living life. And we're just doing it. We're trying it because really, I'm gonna sound cheesy for a second. We got one life to live. So you better, you know, live it to the experience. It's gonna be the best for you. That's gonna bring you the most satisfaction. It's gonna bring you security and abundance and joy and love in the ways that is, you know, congruent to you and in alignment to you and what you're doing with your life. Um, we have the eight of pentacles here and that's us. We are working hard. We are detail oriented. We have, again, eight is the number for power and strength. So we have the strength and the power to go after this, right? He's like on his last couple little pentacles. He can see that and he's like, I'm doing it. I'm putting in the work. I'm putting in the time. I know I'm strong enough for this. I have the courage. I have the ambition to go after this. Pentacles is our work and our money. It's our career. It's the way we feel secure. It's our relationships. It's the, our health and our body. It is you know, a feminine element. So it has to do with nurturing and comfort and taking care of ourselves and taking care of the people that are around us. And we're starting to do that and not doing that from a place of like, oh, this is my role that I play in people's lives, but doing this from a place of like, I enjoy this. This brings me joy. This brings me the opportunities that I want in my life. And I'm going and I'm, I'm just doing that because that's what means the most to me. I'm finding what's meaningful to me. And you're really building a life for yourself that you probably didn't think was possible a couple years ago, but now we're, we're kind of turned on to we can do anything that we set our minds to, right? 
And that's really the such a true statement because once you have once you find a subject, sorry for the dog barking, and you focus in on it and you realize that's the one for you, you know, you just your your mind's like, alright, go. And it doesn't. And so for some of us, maybe that's one thing. And for others, maybe, you know, we have something that we really like to do and that we work on every day, but we also have a hobby that you know, provides an income or provides an extra space for us to feel like ourselves. And we have both of those things going at the same time, right? So I think too, um, there is this, oh my gosh, he's really going at it. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully he stops. No, we'll just keep going. I'm sorry. Um, this need to like find the one thing that you're good at, the one thing that you're passionate about and, and like work and work and work, work, work away at that. And you can, and that's uh, amazing, but some people can't really do that. Some people need their own kind of mundane job. That's like on the computer or doing something and a hobby on the side because some type or a hobby or another source of income on the side that is, you know, what you like to do that's creative, that's interesting to you. Maybe it's woodworking, maybe you're making candles, maybe, you know, you do tarot readings, but it's something that kind of feeds both. Because sometimes we can, you know, push the gas too much on one and then we don't, you know, then we don't have the energy for the other or we, we put so much pressure on that one thing. And today we're kind of taking the pressure off and working about or working at all sides of us, all things that make us feel whole, all things that make us feel authentically ourselves, right? Again, we're working hard, we're going away at it. I kind of digressed there for a second, but I know you got me. Um, He's wearing red pants, right? So red is passion, red is desire, red is creativity, red is, you know, what gets you up and what fires you up in the morning, right? And he's working towards that and his legs are leading the way, are on the path towards his passions, towards his desires, and that's what's getting him up every day. We have, you know, this blue shirt on and blue is intuition, blue is clarity, blue is peace, blue is balance. And he's allowing his intuition and being balanced in a peaceful place with his body and you know, his mind too, it's all working together to be the ones that are putting in the work to do the actual physical labor. He's doing it. The material things here in the world, here in world, he's, he's doing the task. Like I said, detail oriented, focused, he's zeroed in on what he wants and doing so. And by building that, you set yourself up for a foundation that you can celebrate with. For a foundation, you know, you can have good times. Four is the number of security and structure and stability and foundations in our life. So the Four of Wands is about, is again, the happy, I've said this before, happiest card in the deck. And you're really bringing in happiness. This is a celebration. This is a marriage. This is a time to rejoice about the work that you've been putting in because you've been putting in so much work and you're so strong. And I said this last week, but I, I hear the song like, celebrate good times, come on. You know, that that's, that's what I feel because you should be celebrating this work that you're putting in along the way, along the journey, because it is like pew, skyrock and it skyrocketing you and it's just amazing to be in a place where you really feel like you're in the groove like you're moving and grooving with it and this is like 11 11 make a wish what do you wish you know what are you wishing to build with what you're building i guess <laughs> it's an interesting question um, but where, where are you w wishing to put that, to do that? This is like, you know, these two things, um, back it up like a dump truck. You have these two people here again, waving your arms, welcoming you in. Are you, what you're building is what you're here is, you know, your kingdom here. You see that it's like this, you see this party going on in the background and people are like, are you done yet? Are you coming? And you're like, yes, I am. And then you get done and you're like, walk through this doorway, walk through this doorway and you're in the party. You're here. They're like, hell yeah. Was uh, I love watching you put in that work. I love watching you put in that effort. I'm so happy you're here to celebrate with us. Right? Also, I see this as like 22. 22 is the master number of the builder. Again, building the life that you want. So take time today and apply that to your work. Apply that to whatever area of your life you are working on to, you know, 
expand, to grow, to, you know, bring in opportunities, 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 put your focus on that today. Are you building a brand? Put some time in on that. Are you building, you know, yourself up and your self-confidence? Take some time to do some journaling and meditate. And meditating doesn't have to be this like half hour quiet thing. There's so many different types of meditations online, especially YouTube. So take a moment and check them out. Like sometimes I can do an hour, sometimes I do 15 minutes, whatever feels right for me in the day. But when, but don't just stick with one, try them. There's Transcendental Meditation. Joe Dispenza has some really amazing meditations. Um, I really like this one called The Mindful Movement. Um, and there's another one. I can't remember, but I'll look it up and I'll say it in tomorrow's video. Um, but just take some time to do that, to put your energy there because the universe first responds to wherever you put your energy, right? And again, we have the strength to do that. And that's us. Look at all this yellow. This is a glory, glorious day. Now I'm hearing Macklemore glorious in my mind. Um, look at all this fire, all this enthusiasm. Again, this Leo season, the lion, we are in touch. Again, we are in touch with our spirituality and who we are. We are connected to our higher self. And that is what's really in the leading the way in this journey. And that's amazing. You're tending to, you know, who you are here in your material needs, but you're also pushing along, you know, with the growth of you and, and your, and I want to say spiritual needs, but not necessarily spiritual needs, but just what you really truly desire and the needs that aren't authentically you. I think, I shouldn't say I think, but I think those are good words. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, so when we add these up, eight plus four is 12, one plus two is three. Three is the number again for new beginnings, communication, fun, groups, joy with people. So, you know, take time today to put the fork in on what you really want to build in your life, but also take time today to spend it with people you love, have some fun, go outside, dance in the rain. I don't know if it's raining, you know, just dance, have fun and, and express yourself in, in not such um, a serious way. You know, we're really getting out of this mindset that like life has to be so serious to be successful and we can be fun and silly along the way. So let's be fun and silly today. All right, you guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, Check me out on Instagram, Ashley Rose Tarot. Um, I have a website as well, that's ashleyrose.com. The links are in the description box for those. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. I am sending you guys all the love.